construction plan or elimination or child labor is intended to harmonize the efforts to fight the virus. Government has also put in place mechanisms and other strategies of fighting child labor. The most common one and well known to most of us is the universal primary education. Against this background, from 17th to 19th May 2016, over 120 stakeholders gathered in Hoima district in Uganda to take part in a national conference titled Quality Education and Skills Development, a Sustainable Way of Eliminating Child Labor in Agriculture. Too many children in Uganda remain trapped in such totally unacceptable forms of child labor. It is on this note that the Federation of Uganda Employers, who is the sole national representative of employers in Uganda, became committed to promoting an observation of positive management and has played a big role in reaching out to employers, both in public and private sectors, while building strong alliances to combat child labor. ILO Convention 182 is a negotiated treaty by workers, employers, and government. So it is a negotiated settlement, and both all the three parties, the tripartite parties, subscribe to it. So we as workers, we actually demand that child labor should be eliminated. Let the children go to school. The conference provided a needed platform for a cross-sector discussion about child labor in a key agriculture district of Uganda. The conference was the official launch of the Hoima District Action Plan on Child Labor, a first of its kind not only in Uganda, but throughout the sub-Saharan region, outlining critical intersectoral commitments and actions needed at the district level to effectively address the root causes of child labor under the Ugandan National Action Plan to eliminate the worst forms of child labor. This is very, very important, how to link all those actors at local level, how to work with children, with families, with communities, with districts, with companies, with uh, employers, workers. I mean, it's just something fantastic. I think it's really important to not only develop um, appropriate policies, but to take it a step farther and towards the implementation of these policies. And I see this district action plan as um, a way forward in implementing the national action plan. Um, for the elimination of child labor. This workshop here has been a milestone. Having people come from all over different places, from Canada, from Geneva, from US, and from different you know, places, and people doing different things to bring intervention uh, that would help the children of this nation. It has been wonderful, and that's the only way to do it. At the end of the conference, participants came together to make specific recommendations, seeking commitments by the government of Uganda, trade unions and employer organizations, private sector companies and enterprises, representatives from tobacco, sugar and tea, Hoima district local government, civil society and faith-based organizations, media houses, communities, traditional and cultural leaders, children, youth and development partners that will ensure effective implementation of the district action plan. I want to assure you that the district action plan that was developed in support from ECLT will be implemented very well because we expect it to be a blueprint and maybe will be able to be emulated by other districts.